All right, folks, and welcome to Procreate. So we've been making this mandala. Now, I showed you in the last lessons how to do the outline so you know how to replicate this through. What I'm going to show you now is how to go through and manipulate it from a coloring and a shading side to save yourself some work. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to select this and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it because if you mess this up, you don't want to lose all that work. So we're going to start here. Let's look at our layer structure. Again, layer one, the template layer, and the outline layer. All right. So now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make this outline layer the reference layer for the piece. So the first thing you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to figure out what colors you want to make it. And so you want to grab a layer and you want to rename it. Let's call it color. Okay. Now, if you're not going to do colors and you're just going to do pattern, you could rename it pattern. Don't care. All right. And let's drag the color layer down below the outline layer. And now let's go ahead and just work with a, I don't know, kind of a desaturated green color for right now. And now you only have to do this once, which is one of the nice things about this. All right, you grab your paintbrush and you go through and you color on the color layer. All right, rocket science, I know. Let me shrink that down a little bit. Oops, that's way too far. All right, now the trick is you want to go just to the outline. You can go a little bit under it, but you don't want to go over it. And you really don't want to go over your red line too much on these. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I didn't go too far over center on the red line. But you are going to want to go a little bit, a little bit past. And what you're doing is you're creating a boundary for the selection box later. When you do automatic selection, you're telling it, by the way, anything that's green now, we want to use. Okay. Now, you can do it this way for this, but anywhere you've got an enclosed shape, you can go through and just move it over and flood fill it. All right. So the trick is put in your flat colors. So step one create your outline layer. Step two, put in your flat colors. Step three, create what is called your rename highlight layer. All right, done. So we call this the highlight. You can call it the shadow layer, whatever you want to call it. Now let's go back to this whole green thing here and let's do a little bit of manipulation with kind of a little bit of softer green. So I'm coming over here, I'm going to my airbrush, and I'm grabbing my soft airbrush. Now, here's what we're going to do. You're going to come over to your selection. You're going to go to automatic. And because you filled it in, we're going to make sure we're on the color layer. And you're going to click on this area with automatic selection. All right. So you see how that changed color. Now, come over to your brush. You see that it's selected. Now, with this selected, let's go to the highlight layer and let's just brush in a highlight. Okay. Let's say we wanted to do something looking very similar to this here. Now, we can turn alpha lock on. I didn't turn alpha lock on, so my bad. Broke my own rule. Alpha lock would have prevented that. All right, now let's go ahead and drop down a little bit here. Let's grab our airbrush. Let's contour this thing a little bit. So now I am going to turn alpha lock on. All right, and anywhere that the alpha lock is on, we're now going to protect it.
Shade it off. Did I just do that? Yep. I backed it up until my alpha lock was taken off. All right. Well, if you're going to be dumb, you better be tough, right? So we're going to do it twice. All right. So the whole trick here, folks, is lay your base colors down, then create your highlight layers. And now with this area, we come into another area of selection. So let's go ahead and turn that off. Now with our highlight layer still selected, let's go ahead and choose that color. And now we come right back in. All right, so now we've gone through, we've selected it, we've done the highlight. Now we're gonna come through and I would say, let's go with this color of purple. Let's go ahead and crank down the opacity a little bit and let's go ahead and put some purple inside of this thing. Let me go ahead and crank that brush up a little bit here. All right, let's contour it here a little bit too. We're going to go over here. We're going to put in a little bit of this. Okay. And then we're going to grab a little bit of this and a little bit of dark purple. Crank the brush size up a little bit, and we're going to clearly show what is on top of what. All right, good deal. So now let's go ahead and deselect it, and you got this figured out. Now, here's the trick right swipe right swipe, right swipe, group them. And now you're going to be able to, when you zoom out, let's go ahead now and do what we did in the last video, duplicate the entire group. And now what you're going to do is come over here, flip the group, rotate said group, and bring a group over to center and you remember we did this you saw this show before one finger right not two all right all right so what do you have now right let's take a look at layer structure here this gets a little bit complicated so stay with me we're going to take this highlight layer and we're going to move the highlight layer outside of the group Okay, now where's our highlight layer? Outside the group. Color layer. Outside the group. Outline layer. Outside the group. Let's delete the group. Highlight layer. Outside. Outline layer. Outside color layer outside all right let's combine the outlines close and now what are we going to do we're going to pinch them together we're going to take the highlights and we're going to move the highlights close what are we going to do pinch them together take the color layers move the color layers close what are we going to do pinch them together and then we move the outline on top of here we delete the old group. And now, right swipe, right swipe, right swipe, new group. That's exactly how you do it. And the reason is now, you remember how we have this kind of inconsistency here? Now, because you have the highlight and you've got a smudge tool, we can go through and smudge this away. All right, cool. So that is exactly how you do it. And now you take this new group 
and you duplicate it, you come over to the transform, you rotate it, you set it, and that's exactly how it works, folks. You see how this is beginning to work now? And then again, you unpack your groups, unpack it, unpack it, unpack it, delete the group. Unpack the outline layers, combine the outline layers, unpack the highlights, move the highlights together, combine the highlights, grab the color, unpack the color, move it over by the other color, combine the colors. All right, delete the group. All right, and then move the color down below the highlight. Right swipe, right swipe, right swipe. Repack it. All right, you got the idea, folks. You've seen the show. All right, so that's how you go through and do the repetition of the pattern in Procreate. And the important thing here is that you begin with this area right here. If you make your layer structure correct from the beginning, you'll be in good shape. All right, have a good one, folks.